Hey guys, so if you like this little eye look that I have here, that I think is going to be great for the holiday season, continue watching this video. So today, I am using the Take Me to Brazil palette, and I already put on some eye primer, so we're going to move straight to some shadow. And I'm just using this CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadow in gold and just putting that all over the lid. You can just do this instead of primer if you like because this color definitely helps intensify your eyeshadow color. So that's all it's for really. Now that I have that on, I'm just grabbing a brush and putting on this kind of dark copper tone color. That one right there. See it? Yeah. That one. I don't know what to call it. If you guys have a better name, let me know. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner of my eye and then blend it in like that. So basically that's all you're doing to both eyes. I'm just going to put on the outer corner and blend it in. Kind of the outer V shape. Um, I didn't really have any plans for how I was going to do my eyes. So this is just the colors I chose for today. So now that you're done adding the colors, you're going to move on to adding this kind of gold tone color. This color right here. That one. Yes, that one. And you're going to put it all over your lids. And this is me making a fool of myself. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now you're going to put it all over your lids. And so this color has quite a these colors actually have quite a bit of fallout so that's so why I decided to do my eyes first and I didn't show it in the clip of course but I did wipe off all the fallout afterwards so kind of just do that as well now I'm just grabbing this kind of dark red color right there and I'm just packing it in the crease of my eyes my non-existent crease but trying to make it somewhat existent and make sure you blend all the colors out don't forget to do that. It's very important. But realistically, do whatever colors you like. These are the colors that I'm comfortable with. See? See? Look, blended. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, these are the colors I'm comfortable with, and that's just what I decided to do. When you blend, you lose a little bit of the color, so repack it on. Once you're liking it, oh, no, I don't like it yet. I'm going to blend it out. And I'm just going to add some white to the brow bone. And now it looks good and give Sterling a big kissy kiss. And I'm just going to move on to adding some cat eye to my eyes because I want to look just like Sterling. <laughs> yep, just doing my cat eye the way I do. And if you guys watch my everyday makeup tutorial, that's how I do my cat eye. I do a little talk through there so you guys can see how I do it. But I will link that video down below. It's going to be linked in a lot of videos, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. But yep, just doing the regular old cat eye that I do in every... No, not every other video. Most videos. I'm going to stop talking now. That's messy. And now to curl the lashes. Curl, curl, curl. And like I said, if you guys watch my everyday makeup tutorial, you'll be on top of what mascara I'm using. But I just like using a lot of different kind of mascaras. I do sometimes use just one, but on a like serious going out basis, I'll use multiple. So I just wanted to show you accurately what I would do. But it really just depends what mood I'm in. These are just the mascaras I've been liking lately. And I'm at home. I'm not traveling. Might as well use as many as I can, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. So just packing on that mascara. And it makes a big difference for my non-existent lashes there. So once you're done with your mascara, I'm going to skip the clips of foundation, concealer, and brows. And just move straight to the lower lash line makeup. And I'm just going to grab this kind of a crease pencil brush and grab that same kind of dark copper color that I added to the outer corners and do smoke that out on the lower lash line. Now I only just recently started doing this. I don't really always love it so don't do it if you don't need to. 
and I don't put mascara on my lower lash lines at all. So I'm just adding some color to the inner corners of my lap of my eyes and if you guys watch my tutorials you'll know what color that is. And I'm just moving on to lips and this is a color that I have no idea. Look, the label's gone. But it's just a kind of gosh. It's by gosh and it's just kind of like a lip balm lip tint. I have no idea. Yes. Now that I'm done with my lips, I am going to bronze and the brush I'm using is also from that brush set that I talked about earlier I talked about on Monday so I will link that video down below about all the BH Cosmetics and LA Girl products I talked about and so I'm just grabbing the brush I always mix brush and blush up grabbing the blush that I talked about as well and I'm a girl to put way too much blush on and so just blend it out girl don't worry you put too much on just blend that sucker out and blend, 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 blend. But once you're done with all that blending, you are finished with the look. Definitely don't forget to add some um, setting spray to keep everything there. And that is it to this look. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this look. And if you guys want to see more tutorials on the Take Me to Brazil palette. Other than that, I will see you guys next time.